welcome to my channel. This is Search, bringing you another action figure collector's review on Bandai America's Dragon Ball Super's Dragon Star Series Super Saiyan 3 Goku. As you can tell right there, you get the figure himself staring at you through the window. You also get a good bit of accessories over here. On this side of the box, you get Dragon Ball Super up here at the top. You get Super Saiyan 3 Goku. You can peep in through the window at the figure like a peeping Tom would do. Over here on this side of the box, you get Dragon Ball Super up there at the top. A nice illustrated image of Goku right there. Over here on the back of the box, you get other product shots for the figures from this wave. Actually, it's two separate waves. Up here at the top of the box, you get Dragon Star Series. Down here, you get Dragon Ball Super. Let's get to it and open this bad boy up. Let's take a good look at his accessories. And we're just going to be looking at the hands right quick. Because his hair is kind of an extra accessory if you want to count it that way. But I count it as like an attachment to the figure. Because, you know, it's part of the figure. So we'll look at that in the sculpt in detail. And I'll show you how it goes on in just a second. But first of all, we're going to look at these fisted hands right here. Boom, boom. And they look good for what they are. You know, they're kind of plain Jane. You know, I mean, you do get some bone work and some ligaments right through here and a little bit of muscle definition, not too much with those hands. And it's more or less the same with this, but on the palms of the hands right here, as you can tell, they kind of got a little plain Jane right there. Nothing to write home about. And you do get a sculpted seam going throughout on the hands. So that's a little bit bothersome. But you need these hands where if you're throwing down with Cell or Frieza so they can catch some hands. And right here, we'll go ahead and look at these Kamea Kamea Blasting hands. And I'm very pleased that we do get these hands. I mean, they're plain Jane as well. I mean, it's more or less the same with the fisted hands. You don't get much sculpted detail out of these. It's just more like a like a doll look to it but anyway i i like that we get these hands but i hate that we have to go third party in order to get an effect to have like a kamea kamea beam or like a energy ball or something like that and he would blast from his hands so that's a little bit displeasing to me now you can use stuff from like you know, your Power Rangers Lightning Collection one or your Marvel Legends. I don't have anything near me at this moment, but you can use some, certain effects from there, and it does look good with these figures. We'll take a look at Goku's finger-banging hands. Bang, bang. And they look very good as well. You know, you still get some of that sculpted line work, and you do get fingernails with this figure. Now, I was just kidding about it being a finger banging hand. Everybody knows what this is. This is actually a hand for Chi Chi for her pleasure. Uh, it's his instant transmission hand. And somebody pointed that out to me on my social media on Facebook because I'm new to Dragon Ball series. I kind of skipped out on it when I was a kid, you know. I, to be honest with you, I kind of thought it was dumb. But going back and looking at it now, I don't think it's so much dumb anymore. I mean, I, I've i gone back and I've watched, you know, all of the original Dragon Ball so far. I'm in, like, season four. And I really enjoyed the show. Goku's a blast and Master Roshi's hilarious. So, you know, there are very good things about the show. And I can see why it has such a huge fan base. I can't wait to get into Z and see some Super Saiyan action and see them throw down. But anyway, that's enough of that rambling. And we'll get a look at the figure. See how the hairpiece goes on the back of Goku. And you can see it's like a little pattern that you have to match up. And the hair looks like it's sad. Kind of like he's having a sad hair day. And it just goes and you have to look and see. It's a little hard to do on camera. But it goes on just like that. Kind of like his hair extensions. Kind of looks like Sonic the Hedgehog now. But that was how you put it on Goku. And here he is, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, all charged up and ready to make waves onto your screen. This is a very good looking figure and it does have some flaws and we'll get into that in just a second. Okay, let's take a good look at Super Saiyan 3 Goku's articulation. Right here, his head is very statuesque, especially with this hair sculpt on the back of there. You can only move his head, you know, slightly to that side and slightly to that side. And you do get him looking down, 
that hair does push his head down a lot so you're not going to get much movement out of that and you can't get him looking up at all because that hair sculpt is in the way too bad now if you take this hair sculpt off you do get more side to side movement you do get a little bit more head bobbling and right down here his head can look down that far and up just the slightest bit not too much but you really want this hair on this figure because it's the super saiyan 3 goku now his arm will spin around in a perfect 360 however just be on the lookout with this bicep swivel because if you're swinging it around just like that this swivel likes to turn around and it just gets ugly up and through here but anyway he does have that bicep swivel he's got double jointed elbows that bend in almost all the way right here you get a ball peg at the wrist so his wrist can spin around and it does have that ball in there so you can get up and down motion and you can get side to side so that pleases me a lot right there now be careful with this torso because this torso is very fragile and you can spin him around all the way in a 360 because he does have that swivel there and it can come apart very easily just like so so just be on the lookout for that i mean if i can move this figure around and him fall apart that's and see his leg popped out as well i was going to mention that when i got to the legs but as you've seen it happened right there but anyway you get that swivel and you can also get him kicking forward that far now be careful because this leg will pop out as well and you can get him kicking back a little bit further and his double jointed knee only bends in about that far which i mean with these baggy pants that's very understandable with the sculpt however i would like to see some more out of it because he is a martial artist and i like posing my figures around a lot and you don't really get much ankle articulation at all. It's on a ball peg, so you do have that side to side. And you get slight little bit of ankle pivot. But his foot can't really move up at all. And it can't get moved back at all because it keeps hitting the sculpt work right in there. So that's very bothersome. But that was a good look at Goku's articulation. I forgot to mention that his legs can split out like that that far apart now you can get them doing splits out like this but that looks a little weird at times and you can also turn this torso articulation around we'll take this hair sculpt off so it doesn't get in the way and his torso popped off again that's very aggravating with this figure it happens quite often and anyway you can get splits looking out like that but that looks very weird with his butt being that way but, I mean, you can get the full splits. It's just a little bit bothersome. And that's about as good as you can really get that. Okay, let's take a good look at his sculpt and detailing. And first of all, we'll take a look at his head. You know, his face sculpt isn't really that bad. You know, Bandai needs to really step up their game with their articulation. And I think they would have a pretty decent figure. I mean, this figure's main flaws is his articulation and he keeps falling apart every time you really move the figure at uh, this hair sculpt it falls off very easy so that's very disappointing but right there i like the color that he used for the hair it's kind of like a pale mustardy yellow so i mean it doesn't bother me at, at all there's the spikes in the back i like the sculpt work on this hair it looks very good i wish they would have done something a little bit different to where we could get more articulation out of that head because that's very aggravating you can't even get a, that good of a pose out of this figure because you only get the side to side movement and it's very limited i wish they would have been able to do something a little bit different with that but anyway right here i like the blue and the orange that we're seeing on the figure i think it looks very good i'm very pleased with that i like the color muscle or the color of the flesh tone that we're seeing throughout and i like the muscles that are sculpted in there i think that looks very good you know the eyes came out very clean this they have a lot of improvements they need to do mainly in the articulation and right there it's a little fuzziness right there it is where his sleeve meets his arm so that's a little bit bothersome but i like the muscle tone on the figure that you're seeing throughout like the pegs you know they're okay the blue bands around his wrist looks very good right there it looks good the back of the figure looks very good 
very wrinkly on the back for the baggy pants so that, that looks good as well like the red and the yellow that we're seeing on the blue boots right there so that pleases me a lot or actually that's uh like a reddish orange color actually but anyway I'll, i still like it and you know the bottom of the feet that's what they look like the baggy pants the sash looks good nice and wrinkly but that was a good look at Goku's sculpt in detail. In that same line of action figures, here's how Super Saiyan 3 Goku scales next to Walgreens exclusive Super Saiyan Gogeta over there on his left. And I feel like the scaling works with these two figures because I feel like Gogeta should be taller because he is a fusion character. He's got Vegeta and Goku in there, so I don't I'm okay with that. Now, if I had to sit down and choose which one I wanted for my get my money's worth out of these two figures, I think I would lean more towards the Gogeta. Yeah, I know this other one's a Goku, but this Gogeta is a little bit better in articulation, and he's a little bit less aggravating to deal with. And that is as far as like you know him falling apart because that Goku falls apart quite easily. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. From DC Collectibles, here's how Super Saiyan 3 Goku scales next to Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from DC Collectibles. You have from the action figure 2-pack with Leonardo and Batman, Batman over there on the left. And from that same line of figures, we have from the Raphael Robin 2-pack, Robin over there on the right from DC Collectibles and also from that same Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle action figure 2 pack we have Leonardo over there on the left and from that same lineup we have Raphael on the right. Here's how our Super Saiyan scales next to a couple of McFarlane toys we have the Batman who laughs over there on the left and we have the unchained armored Superman on the right. The scaling over there towards NECA and here's how he scales next to the GameStop exclusives Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 90's movie Foot Soldier over there on the left and over there on his right we have the Shredder from the same line. Look at how he scales next to a couple of Hasbro action figures from the Power Rangers Lightning Collection line. We have the Walgreens exclusive, Dragon Shield Black Power Ranger over there on his left. And over there on his right, from Marvel Legends, we have Stan Lee. And Stan Lee and this Super Saiyan Goku are probably about the two hardest action figures I have to get to stand upright. Here's my final thoughts on this figure. If you see this thing laying in the middle of the street, leave it laying. Just walk away while you still can. This guy's supposed to be super powerful. He's supposed to be like a super saiyan. Well, he is super fragile. His body part falls apart easily. You can barely touch this figure and he'll fall apart in your hands and crumble. So that's very displeasing in my opinion. And you figure with a sister company like SH Figure Arts, Bandai would get their crap together as far as the articulation is concerned. Now, the sculpt and detailing is very good. The paint apps came out very clean with this figure. I love the color of the hair. You know, the, it's very on point with the sculpt and detailing. Whoever engineered this figure's articulation needs to find another career path, in my opinion. Now, let me know what you think of the figure. Let me know what you think of the review in the comments below. And as always, feel the urge to collect with Surge. If you want more action figure collector's reviews, then feel the urge to subscribe to Surge. And if you've liked what you've seen, then click that big thumbs up button. If you want to get notified of my latest videos whenever they drop, click that notification bell if you want to see this channel grow. Share with a friend. Speaking of friends, you can friend me over there on Facebook. Links to that will be in the description below. You can also follow me along on Twitter. Links to that will be in the description below.